Yang Yang was China's golden boy, but what exactly happened that almost shattered his career? We dive deep into the rise and fall of this super A-lister. Born in Shanghai, Yang Yang's life has been meticulously planned around his exceptional talent as a dancer from a young age. As expected, years of training and dedicated practice have propelled him to the stage center. However, little did he anticipate the life-altering audition that lay ahead. In 2007, while captivating the audience with a solo dance performance, the director of the period drama Dream of the Red Chamber happened to be in attendance and became captivated by Yang Yang's distinct charm and grace. This led to an unexpected opportunity, an addition for the male lead in the drama, and marked the beginning of his acting career. In 2011, Yang Yang ventured into the film world, starring in his debut movie, Beginning of the Great Revival. This opportunity not only provided him with valuable acting experience and training, but also expanded his network of contacts. Four years later, in 2015, Yang Yang garnered widespread attention for his roles in the coming-of-age film The Left Ear and the adventure drama The Lost Tome. In 2016, Yang Yang's career soared to new heights with Love O20, a video game-themed romance that plays him firmly in the Hall of Fame. The drama garnered an astounding viewership of over 3 billion, cementing it as the most successful work of Yang's career. Even in recent years, positive reviews have continued to resonate. However, the success of Love 20 was overshadowed by unfortunate circumstances involving the female lead, Zhang Shuang. Two years after the drama's broadcast, she was cancelled by the government due to her involvement in a notorious surrogacy scandal. Consequently, all the dramas she appeared in, including this version of Love 20, were taken down permanently, impacting its availability to viewers. However, a turning point emerged in 2017 with his collaboration with Liao Yifei in the movie Once Upon a Time, which received mixed feedback from viewers. Despite this, the film became an unexpected box office success, grossing over 533 million yuan. It was during this film that some people began to perceive his acting as somewhat affected particularly in the scene where he was pulling noodles. It appeared more like a display of his attractiveness rather than a genuine portrayal of the character. The lowest point in Yang Yang's acting career came with his portrayal and fireworks of my heart. Playing the role of a firefighter, he failed to capture the essence of the profession, leading to criticism and discomfort among viewers. One notable issue was his excessive self-indulgence, which clashed with the character's selfless nature. For instance, firefighters in China are prohibited from putting their hands in their pockets, especially while in uniform. However, he repeatedly made this move in front of the female lead, seemingly trying to showcase his attractiveness. Additionally, his oddly rigid sleeping position and deliberate showcasing of his jawline, even during scenes where his character was supposed to be in pain while trapped in debris, further contributed to the awkwardness. Moreover, his betrayal transformed a brave and righteous firefighter into a rude and occasionally irrational individual, leaving audiences cringing at his performance. The voice of disapproval towards Yang Yang's performance grew louder, and as a result, more of his controversial history gradually came to light. It became evident that Yang was often involved in scandals with his fellow actresses and dramas. While it is understandable that these scandals may have been created for promotional purposes, one particular affair with Song Qian ended in a fairly ugly manner. From paparazzi secretly taking photos, the couple appeared to display a considerable level of affection. However, just as Yang Yang skyrocketed to popularity after his role in Love 20, he unexpectedly posted a cryptic message on Weibo. Possessing treasure is doomed to attract the evil. Many interpreted this as a veiled reference to Song pursuing a romantic relationship with him. The following day, Song responded with aggression, stating, I am currently single, and I have a clear understanding of myself. Stop the publicity stunt. Do not mistake someone's kindness and silence as an opportunity to bully them without consequences. Even a rabbit will bite when pushed to its limits. It's not that I can't, but rather that I choose not to. After this incident, no further online or offline interactions between the two were observed by anyone. Don't forget to rumored on and off romance between Yang Yang and Wang Chuan, particularly when reports emerged of them being together before the airing of Fireworks of My Heart. Some sources even suggest that this was their second attempt at a romantic relationship. Unfortunately, as the drama failed to captivate viewers, their on-screen and off-screen relationship also lacked the desired support and well wishes. 
Furthermore, Yang Yang's constant ambiguity surrounding his alleged relationships with many other actresses involved in the same drama has irked many. All these seem to convey one consistent message. Yang enjoys this type of intimacy, but he is not willing to make any of these relationships public. One thing led to another, Yang Yang's interactions with the media during various events or on variety shows turned out to be one more catastrophic piece, adding another blow to his already tarnished image. One particularly notable incident occurred when he confidently asserted that numbers like 20, 30, or 50 are odd numbers, demonstrating a shocking lack of basic math knowledge. <laughs> And check his way of asking how much is the ride to the hotel in English. How many to hotel money? Hmm? How many to hotel money? When asked by the media to comment on his character in Fireworks of My Heart, he struggled for quite a while, attempting to dodge the question, yet eventually nothing informative came out. Well, this might not be surprising given his response to the wave of negative reviews and his portrayal of the firefighter. He simply said, Take a look and that's it. No need to care. I will just be myself with no sense of guilt. I feel good about myself focusing on walking my path. Say whatever you want to say, I don't care. Indeed, without a doubt, under such intense scrutiny, his overconfidence and failure to engage in self-reflection have only worsened his declining reputation. Meanwhile, despite his widely acknowledged good looks, he appears to go to great lengths to defend his image of perfection, unwilling to let even the slightest flaw tarnish his appearance, even if it means resorting to telling lies. One such example is his claimed height of 5.9 feet, which was quickly exposed as untrue when people made calculations based on comparisons with actors whose heights are confirmed. Just check this when he stands at the same height next to Wang Chudan, who is confirmed 5.64 feet, and with Guan Shaotong, who stands at 5.57 feet. Yang Yang doesn't appear to be 5.9 feet tall, so it doesn't take a mathematician to figure out that he is approximately 5.64 feet tall. With this, the debunking of his height myth has given people another reason to dislike him a bit more. In 2023, the drama Last Year Forever featuring Yang Zi became a tremendous success, propelling Tan Zhen Su, one of the three male leads, to fame. Interestingly, there were rumors that Tan almost missed out on this opportunity, as Yang Yang was initially considered for the role of Kang Xuan, and Zhang Wenyi was to play Sheng Liu. Allegedly, one of the reasons Yang Yang declined the offer was his belief that Yang Zi was going through an unlucky phase that might affect him. Consequently, Zhang Wenyi took Yang's place to play the role of Kang Xuan, following Tan Zhen Xi to portray Sheng Liu, the original role meant for Zhang Wenyi. Fortunately, Yang's refusal turned out to be a blessing in disguise for Tan, as he finally received a well-deserved chance to shine brilliantly. Given Yang Yang's performance in Fireworks of My Heart, which aired in the same year, many viewers felt relieved and grateful for his refusal to act in Lost You Forever. Unlike Yang Yang's constant portrayal of pretense, Tan successfully depicted Shang Liu's dual personality showcasing a deep tenderness and emotions beneath his cold and ruthless exterior. He skillfully handled the intricacies of the character, allowing audiences to genuinely feel the true emotions residing in his heart. Coincidentally, a similar situation occurred with the drama The Untamed. Yang Yang was initially considered a top contender to play the role for Lan Wangji. However, his agent believed that starring in a drama of this nature would not align with Yang Yang's perceived level or status, so he respectfully declined the opportunity. Left with no other alternatives, the team conducted extensive auditions and stumbled upon Wang Yibo. Fortunately, Wang's performance aligned perfectly with the characters described in the original novel, bringing satisfaction to both the director and the audience. While Wang Yibo did not focus excessively on facial expressions in his portrayal, his nuanced gaze effectively conveyed the characters' emotions and resonated with the viewers. Can you imagine what the outcome would have been if Yang Yang had accepted the offer? <laughs> After the controversial drama in 2023, Yang Yang appeared to have chosen to lay low. The reasons behind this decision remain unclear. However, one certain thing is that after his last period drama in 2022, Yang Yang is slated to star in another Xiangxia, or fantasy martial arts, drama called The Immortal Ascension in 2024. There also have been recent rumors about his potential involvement in the drama in the moonlight, but there are still many uncertainties surrounding the speculation. If anything, Yang Yang's experience only proves one solid fact. 
Viewers yearn for more than just a beautiful exterior, they desire depth and substance in performances. While his charming appearance may initially captivate, Odin says it is his ability to deliver compelling and nuanced performances that will truly leave a lasting impact. Hopefully, by investing in his craft and honing his acting abilities, Yang Yang can meet the expectations of viewers and solidify his position as a versatile and talented actor in the projects that lie ahead in the future. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts if Yang Yang needs to brush up on his acting skills. Please feel free to leave your comments in the section below. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Chinese Star Buzz, where we bring you the latest updates on your favorite stars. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay connected and be the first to receive instant updates. Remember to hit the bell button to ensure you never miss any exciting news. We appreciate your continued support and we look forward to seeing you again soon.